five seconds remaining. Welcome back, everybody, to another day of Star Ladder America. Reserve it's day time. seven, the final day of group action. I'm God's joined by Merlini. Everything comes down to this day for America. We're going to see who goes to the playoffs, who gets knocked out. Pretty big day. Mm -hmm. What's our schedule looking like? Um, we've got three matches. We've got EG versus Revenge to end things off. Osiris versus Ehug. But first up, it's going to be Team Liquid versus Team Dog. I went backwards. Just confused. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just read from like the Team bottom Liquid's up for whatever reason. But yeah, Dog versus Liquid, Osiris versus Ehug, EG versus Revenge. And pretty much every match today has some importance. Like Dog versus Liquid, the winner goes to the playoffs. Um, Osiris versus Ehug. If Osiris win, they're in the playoffs. If they lose, maybe there's like a three-way tie. And then EG versus Revenge is to decide who gets the Dire number one seed pick. going into the playoffs. EG Revenge, oh yeah. Aren't they both undefeated? Uh, Revenge lost to Liquid. Oh. So. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like casting with you. You, you asked the, the big questions. <laughs> well, they were undefeated going in. I was like, oh, well, they're not playing EG, so they shouldn't have any losses. And <laughs> then... <laughs> they lost to Liquid. Um, speaking of Liquid, they're in our first match. Apparently, TC's no longer playing carry. According to at least Dire a series last night, ban. we'll have to see if that remains true here. But well, the, that's like desperation. The, I guess they're just going to keep trying to shuffle things. Same with Team Dog. They're yeah. actually Misery's drafting for them today instead of Pycat. Okay, because so. Pi they had a few bad days. Team Dog, team they have not been yeah. to doing all too well. But they're still new, so you can. Yeah. E they have a lot of wiggle room. Yeah, they're like a new team. They're obviously. I mean, they're, they're across different contents as well. They haven't been playing mm -hmm. together for too long, so. Maybe give them, yeah. And there's, they're still uh, slack. doing with some roster changes, too. Well, they had Mason, yeah. they had Demon, Demon, and now they have Smolgalig. Yeah. They've had this fight for a bit, Five but like seconds. you say, it's still a very new team. Compared to Liquid, who's been playing together since, like, the post-TI3 shuffle, so. Yeah. Um, we'll get ourselves time. in the draft now. It is going to be uh, Liquid versus Dog, our opening match of the day, and I've got the wrong match. Not CMB versus Dignitas. No. Let's see if Indeed I get this not. right this time. There we All go. right. Uh, so Liquid on the Radiant side, um, Visage Lifefield, so they, they played a best of three against E-Hug, and one of the games, Way2 was playing a carry Slaughter, the other game he was playing a carry Lifestealer, and TC was on support, like Crystal Maiden, Visage, I don't, I don't think it was Visage. I don't know how flexible a player TC is, like, I've almost exclusively seen him play carry, and even on some of the carries, he's like better on some than others. Oh yeah. Way too, he, I think he's more flexible. I've seen him play carry and I've seen him destroy as carry. Dire and I've seen him back. play a very wide variety of supports. Um, so in terms of flexibility, I think Way is a more flexible player than TC. I'm not exactly sure though. I just haven't seen enough of either. Well, we'll see what they have. Team Dog on the other hand. This is a best of one to decide who goes to the playoffs. They've gone for an Ember Spirit in this deciding match. So they're going all in with this, uh, probably... Ember's ownage. Is this for MSS in the mid lane, or do you think Pycat plays mm, it? I am not sure. Let me check to the profiles. Yeah, I'm, I haven't seen Dog play Ember Spirit myself. I mean, you've casted more of these NA games than I have. With, uh, uh, MSS area. has been playing a lot of Ember Spirit. Okay. He's yeah. play, He's been playing a fair amount. What about Pycat? Where's Pycat? What's his name? One? He's playing as... Uh, no, he's he's uh, at Pycat, uh, Pycat Dota Dota. Dota. Okay, let's check his profile. Uh, Spirit no Ember Spirit. Zero. He hasn't okay. even been playing that much Dota. Maybe yeah, let's he's say that was like a page and a half of games. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would probably say MSS. PyCat's also pretty flexible. He plays mid. I've seen him play support, and I've seen him Ten play a lot of carry. Yeah. MSS, usually solo or carry. Yeah, zero. lately PyCat's been on the like, carry remaining. role for the team, from what mm. I've seen. So, I mean, maybe they team put Ember Spirit in the safe lane, but if PyCat hasn't been playing there, it makes more sense to give it to MSS, even if it is in the carry I think role. Misery and Fog are the strongest two supports on the team, though. Yes. That seems to be what they're doing. Small is a gr Small's always been a uh, great offlane player. Like mm -hmm. even if you go back to previous teams, uh, he played on CLG for a while during like the TI2 era. Then played on like a Turtle Masters team. He was one of the great offlane players. So Turtle Masters, That's a legit team, man. Yeah. Well, Tinker will be banned out. Doggy team. That's scared of Boba. Remaining. Yeah. That's reasonable. I I agree. It's, and not to mention like a boots to travel blink Tinker with a life steal in test. It's a pretty good yeah. ganking combo. Puck's pretty good, ban too. Yeah. Silence has just ruined Ember's day. They need to make sure that he can do his thingaling. I imagine Liquid kind of want to go for something like a Storm Spirit, though, to work with the Lifestealer, give him mm -hmm. a good initiation. But we'll see. we'll see. Yeah, typically I think Storm is banned out. Um, but yeah, yeah they ban the Tinker and Puck instead. Which, yeah. I mean, you can't ban it all. Like, if they had more bans, they'd ban Tinker, Storm, Ten and Puck, maybe, but mm -hmm. they didn't have the option to do so. Five Interesting draft remaining. so far. We'll see what Doggy looked to, to pick up next. 
Doggy team. Doggy <laughs> team. I still can't get over that Reserve name. Time. Hello. Yes, this is dog. I can't get over their their uh, <laughs> icon slash mascot. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a team a TI like this is a tournament being viewed by people all over the world. Like it's even being picked up by like big like media stations, and they're reporting like. Team Dog has just won the international or something. <laughs> like, woof, woof. What did they say in their post-game interview? Woof woof. Woof like. woof. Doggy team. <laughs> I don't even know. Jimmy's name on Steam is Doggy Style. So I don't, has he have officially parted ways with them? Um, yes. So why is he still tagged up as Dog in this name? Not sure. I don't know. But he's he's made it. He's tweeted and made it clear that he's not part of their official main. He's not part of their main roster. So now he's going to be a professional stand-in. Yes. Life of a mercenary. Ten seconds yeah. remaining. Look, if he's on dog, it means he can't. Well, he still can stand in if a team needs him. But whenever there's some tournaments prevent remaining. people from standing in if they That's true. if it, they're on two teams. Well, with Star Ladder, they're quite strict. Right? If you stood in Reserve for one team, time. you can't stand in for another team. Like once oh, you wow. stand in for a team, you become like an official stand in only for that team. What if you're on another team's roster? Then you're not allowed to stand in. You're not allowed to stand in. I am. I mean, you're allowed to make roster changes like in the middle of the season, which is where like in the, if, if it's an official roster change, I think it's okay. Because mm -hmm. that's where, like, halfway through the season, let's say, like, Team Liquid and EG swap TC for Fear or something. Like, they could still, they could, you're allowed to swap teams. Starlight aren't going to say, oh, you can't make roster changes. But mm -hmm. they're not going to allow. Like, I, it was the other day when Mason was standing, Mason stood in for EG, and then the following game, Liquid needed to stand in, so they tried to get Mason in. The Starlight admin's like, you can't do that. <laughs> like, you can't have Mason stand in. He just stood in for EG. They need more professional stand ins. Remaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you professional standards. That's where you need to make sure you get Demon on the books as your professional stand in. I guess he's played one or two games for a dog, maybe. Team Liquid's actually banned out Centaur. I think Centaur would have made Doggy's lineup pretty darn greedy. I guess they could do like AA Weaver safe, Ember mid with Centaur off. Yeah. Centaur. Yeah, I don't, lane's pretty annoying. I don't think he's that great versus Liquid's heroes, though. Like yeah, Life Stealer life just kind of chomps him up. Nick Assassin, just easy. Easy uh, counter initiate stampede. Ten seconds. Weaver AA a is lots of fun though. Well, not for yes. liquid. Yeah, <laughs> not fun for liquid. Five they geminate though. Remaining. They don't have any yeah. lockdown though, so I think a storm pickup by liquid probably should have been fourth bit, so they don't ban yeah. it out. I, if liquid had wanted storm, I feel like they would have picked it in that second stage. So maybe they're thinking they don't want to. Well, go why storm. not? Why not storm though? Storm crushes sure. all these heroes. I I don't I don't know the answer to that because like storm goes so well with the life stealer as a vehicle for his initiation. It goes. Great for initiating on the Ember Spirit, so it's decent lane control versus Ember Spirit too. Yeah, and no, I'm I'm surprised they didn't pick it up. But the fact Team they didn't pick it up makes me think they don't to want pick. to. Otherwise, yeah. like why would why would they leave it to last just to pick up a Rubik? Woo, Rubik! <laughs> Shikuchi's nice. Yeah, Shikuchi's nice. I mean, Doggy, I guess maybe would have gone Rubik AA Weaver, but I think they yeah. they're just probably a bit stronger there. Been the other do. I don't know. Back. Still looks like a Storm Spirit <laughs> pick. Maybe they're like, maybe they're baiting us to Storm Spirit pick, yeah. and Liquid's scared to pick it. And what else do like... you go if not Storm Spirit for your mid lane? Like, you've got a Life Seal, you kind of need another sort. Like, Life Seal doesn't go well in, like, as a I think they need hero. a Silence. Ten I think they need another Silence remaining. to lock down Storm, uh, Ember. Yeah, uh, Drow Ranger. Ew, Drow. They, they do need more damage, though. Like, right now, it's Nyx off lane. Life Seal is not, like, a... Like, he gets kited around a lot. He, you can't really run him time. as a, like, 4 protect 1 carry. That's what they, so they banned the Shadow Fiend, Team Liquid which is, like, another DPS hero. But. Mm -hmm. Storm so. okay. okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't they... Don't Doggy should have banned that yeah. job, though. Like, yeah, and, and and Liquid runs Storm a lot. A fair amount. Koiko plays it. But, who knows? It's kind of a no, like a no-brainer pick when you have the Life Stealer and then... You need a long range initiation, like Puck Tinker Band out. Okay, let's just go Storm. Yeah, Natural Orchid Carrier too, which just crushes Ember and Weaver. They don't get the correct items, but team I guess they're not scared of it. That's that's the only reason I can pick. think of. Yes. Team Dog, they're like, ah, whatever, Storm. They've got a good roaming support it. duo, the VSAA, so they can look to pressure him uh, in the early stages of the game. Uh, maybe they've got a plan for it. Like they'll do some kind of a dual lane mid if they really want to. This tri lane is really strong, though. It, you do not underrate this tri lane. The AA, Weaver, and Vengeful. Oh, yeah. They have so much damage. Like, oh well, my goodness. It looks like they're just going to be up against the Nyx Assassin in the offlane. So, yeah. Liquid not only is TC on support now, Bulba's back to the offlane, and Koikva's playing solo mid. This it, is just I like, think it might just be this particular game, though, because... No, I, I think it was the, uh, the I game mean, against Ehug as well. Like, Bulba, Bulba isn't a... Like, he isn't well-known for his Storm. Koikva is. Okay. So, I think if they want to put Storm mid, they should definitely put Koikva on there, because Ten Koikva has, like, a good remain. Storm, a good... Batrider, uh, yeah. Lone Druid, Nature's Prophet. I think Bulba has like a really good Clockwork, Elder, Titan, 
Uh, his bat rider is decent too, and he's a really good tinker. Prepare so I think the I mean, quick is a decent tinker too. So some of their some of them is overlap, but I don't think Storm Spirit is one that overlaps between these two. So it looks like in the last series, Bulba was playing offlane. Like Quick Quick mm -hmm. played a solo mid tinker against E Hug, and then Bulba played an offlane Nyx when Quick was on Shadow Fiend. So it seems that at least the the last match against E Hug, they completely swapped roles. Bulba and Quick were swapped, and then TC and Way Two swapped. Mm. Like, what does that tell you about a team when they're that desperate to change things up that they have to to make that? That's like drastic change. It's not like just they switch one or two players. Yeah, th they switched four of their. I players. don't know about the TC way too. I mean, how hard is Life Stealer though? But <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> easy hero. He is easy hero. Yeah, uh, I think of all the carries, he's one of the easiest. I guess. Yeah, I, th I think putting Quaker on mid like gives him a lot more room to just make plays happen. Like, he rather than playing offline. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Bulba is to some extent, but I feel he's. Just a bit more of that like con consistent offlaner type role, maybe. But yeah, this is it just feels like a desperate move from Liquid. I think. Like, what are they gonna do next if this fails? TC to offlane. Disband Arena. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've got till TI4. That's 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 really that's the ticking time bomb here. Like teams are like, we gotta figure out this is the that's five players long, we've got. Though. Well, yeah, this is the five players I got. Let's find the best way to use these five players. To get the best, to, to try and get the TI4 first and then try and get the best possible result at TI4. That's what Liquid are experimenting with now. Um, but then after that, if, if, they ha if they haven't found a way to make these five players work, that's when you start thinking, well, do we need to switch things up a bit? That's when you think Rot Row. Well, oh, yeah. Ember has not skilled up. Weaver has. Clockwork hasn't. So already with the level one chilling touch, Magic Mizzle looking for an early first blood. But if they catch out Life Sealer, he can just easy rage out. Bulba is not going to be in a position. He can rage out, but like Pike can like Shikuchi after with chilling. If Shikuchi's after, he may die. I don't know. We'll see. We'll introduce our two teams during our pause anyway. Storm skilled overload. <laughs> Funny Bulba. Ah. Funny. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. That joke's not old at all. It's been overused. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's ignore Bulba. That's. Everyone go tweet at Bulba. Tell him how disappointed you are in his funnies. Um, but we're going to see PyCat Dota playing the Weaver on the Dire side. We've got MSS playing the Ember Spirit. Looks like he'll be heading mid. Uh, we've got Misery playing Eventual Spirit. We've got Fogged on the Ancient Apparition. And then finally Smulgulig playing the Clockwork. He'll be our offlane player. And on Liquid, we have Fluff. Drafter on the Visage. Quickva on the Storm Spirit. TC now swapped to the support role on the Rubik. Bulba. On the solo offlane, Nexus Assassin, and Way 2 now playing the carry on that Life Stealer. Alrighty. So, whew. Three heroes in this game have buyback status. I bet you didn't know that. I would have guessed two, because both mid heroes want to save early on. Apparently, Nyx has saved. Well, uh, well Nyx, he's going to lay a ward, and he has 135 gold. I guess well, he's. Buyback's pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know how much buyback costs it? Right. I guess it costs 100 um, at the very start and it's gone up by 1 gold already. Maybe. How much does buyback cost the instant you load in? I guess. It's, I don't it know. goes up like 1 gold every. Min I thought it was minute. Or I thought it was. There's a formula for it. It's yeah. like time squared, level squared or something plus time. Yeah. I think it's linear with time exponential with level. It's definitely linear with time. Like, you'll see, if you just hover over it, you'll see the buyback costs go up by, like, one gold But why would it go up before... Second and a half or two seconds. Why would it go up before level... Oh, it's level squared. So it's, like, 100 is base, probably, and then plus one plus, plus level squared. We'll watch it now. It's and 101. Then, yeah, it doesn't... I don't think it takes time I mean, until, like, past yeah, one minute. And t yeah, okay. So it starts at 101. The more you know. The more you buyback, know. Buyback before creep spawn costs you 101 gold. <laughs> you gotta save that four seconds of respawn. <laughs> <laughs> Who would, um, has there ever been a player to buy back at level one? I think there has been in pubs. Like you get ganked at level one, you're like, "Fuck this!" On a rage buy back. Yeah, that's and a you, that's a demon move. That's and then, demon and move. any TP back to mid, and you're you can already get unreliable gold because your revive time is already up. <laughs> that is classic Jimmy move, though. I'd agree. It's like let's just handicap myself for the sake of it. Oh, look at this sneaky There's positioning by Pycat, Fog to Misery. They might find somebody if TC strays too far. Oh, oh he's coming. Oh, they have, oh, yeah, they've got they've got this one over here. They the actually don't have begins. much good vision of this. Oh, Fluff is dead. Fluff's Fluff. dead. He's gonna walk right into him. There's your son. There's the chilling touch. The right click damage will be more than enough. First, First blood goes to your ancient apparition. Fog Dota picks it up. 
Nice, I'm, nice positioning by them, though. I'm surprised they didn't put this observer ward further down because they actually didn't have good vision. This was actually fogged. So, I mean, it, it still works fine. Like, the positioning is great. They get the first blood, but yeah. It was slightly risky. Not, not it wasn't risky, risky. it was slightly... They might have not gotten a kill because yeah. they invested in a... They could have actually, like, stunned before they had, like, earlier on, like, when they were still in fog, or at least no one went to move out, but... They're gonna find a haste rune now as well, so that's gonna go the way of misery. He pops a sentry ward. He can de-ward off of this as well, so... Meanwhile, top lane, looks like ball by small, just trading blows over here. Clockwork versus Nyx. This is a pretty good matchup for Clockwork, I you wanna You wanna say. pump up those game sounds? Yeah, you got no game sounds? Sorry about that. It's, it's quiet. Oh yeah, they're, they're just quiet. Pump it up. It, it's so hard for me to cast without game sound. It's... Oh no, I know what it is. I know what it is. I think the game sounds are okay. I just need to yeah. my pump up the speakers. You only yeah. get game sounds from my camera, so if you're looking at something, you don't I, get I game know. sound. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Screen. Okay. Screen, screen Misery cheating. just kills a courier with haste rune. Oh. No problem. Cool. Did the bottle actually arrive at mid lane? No, Quickfoot doesn't have his bottle. Wow. That's very unfortunate. Or was it his bottle coming? Must have been his bottle, yeah. Yeah, it must have been. Is that. That's like not GG, but <laughs> this is this is really bad for Liquid. They give up first blood. Quakeman doesn't get his bottle, and this is like the do or die match. Oh, that he's coming back oh, mid dude. misery. Is there? There's a searing change. Two points in searing change. He hits it on Quakeman. He's gonna take a ton of damage. The stun to follow things up. Quakeman could just go down here. They're trying to get enough right clicks off here. Another remnant goes down. It looks like they can't commit to this one. One more hit. He can't use this tango though. He's gonna go fountain. Yeah, he's just gonna walk all the way home. TP back. What a disaster. TC will take over mid lane for a little bit to get some experience. But maybe. now MSS, he'll get his, he'll get this wave as well as a two minute rune. Oh, and fuck it's a solo kill at top lane. Spuff actually rotating in for this one. That's a double kill for Smogolik. What a bloody disaster for Liquid. Oh my god, this team uh -oh. is in, it's, they're in the weeds, they're man. In they're in the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> They're in shambles. <laughs> I mean, how many things can go wrong in two minutes? You're like, eh, it can't be that bad. It's just two minutes time, but everything that has gone wrong for Liquid pretty much has gone wrong. And there's a lot a lot on the line. Starlight at NA playoffs. Bulba also made a pretty bold statement as well about uh, something he would do to himself if they lost, so... This, uh -oh. this could be pretty bad for uh, for Team Liquid. It was still two and a half minutes in. It's just not been Bulba's week. His school loss in March Madness, he's been losing a lot of games, he's gonna have to <laughs> honor his bet. Yeah. It's 2k gold lead at two and a half minutes in. That's that's insane. Ember Spear going the sleight of fist searing chains yeah. build. This seems to be the build that that most mid players realize is the most effective. It's owned. I think they realize like Flame Guard's nice and all, like you can block a bit of damage, it's nice and defensive, but End of the day, if you come and get ganked, Flame Guard rarely will be the difference between dying or not. It's dying. too long cooldown, I think. If it were like half half damage, half damage absorb, and half duration, and half cooldown, I think it'd be a lot yep. better. But it's like 35 second cooldown is extremely long. Well, at this point, all three lanes being lost by Liquid. Yes. Now, uh, Weaver free farming bottom lane, Clockwork comes off a double kill of all things. Rem uh, Storm oh Spirit God. actually does not get Vortex either. I, I guess it like at four. I imagine this is usually you see one three one out of storms. One 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 one. You mean? No. no oh yeah. One 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 and into one three one. Okay. I see some storms go for this one one like one one two one one, one three. Yeah, one even. one three is like decent. I think like you need a lockdown versus Ember Spirit though. Yeah. I guess he's just looking to farm and harass him out of the lane. I know Blitz likes to go for like a one one three build. Mhm. Mm when when you're playing this like greedy more like farm based play, and you can zone them out really well because that overload damage does a lot. Uh, it scales pretty well, the overload damage. And you just need the one point in the pool to actually get another proc on it. Yeah, but you're slow for three seconds, man. Well, Misery will take yeah. the haste rune on bottom. He has boots, he's looking for kill. Way too in fluff, just chilling at the tower. But I think they're going to be under a lot of pressure. I, yeah. I mean, I they, think they can't really kill way too. In goes Misery, a couple right clicks. He's going to get a, he's gonna a get chilling touch. And... Fox is dying at tower. Wait, well, no, 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 he's fine. He's just, he got slow, but it doesn't really matter. He took no what? damage at all. Fluff goes down to the Weaver. Pycat picking up that kill. Do they look to go in on way too? He's still going to rage here, but... Uh, yes, they do. Creep waves just outside of the tower. I, I don't see why not. Like, if a TP supports it, if a support TP's in to help him, they Chilling run. Touch wasn't even used. This level 2 Chilling Touch we're talking about, he didn't even get Cold Feet. Both supports have boots and Weaver has Shikuchi, so in theory they can dive the tower, and worst case scenario, they maybe have to just run away, and they've got boots to do so. TC, though, he's been jungling. He, he's actually too low to help out this lane. But yeah, way two's level four now. Bats at level five. Well, 
Oh, oh, mid lane. They found Quake, but he's level 4. This one, this is going to be another kill going the way of Li if, uh, against Liquid. If they're not careful, and it will be the Fire Remnant finishing off Misery. Going to get low. He puddles. One. There's a bottle share. That was oh. so next level. He survived on 1 HP with a bottle share. Wow. MSS. What though. a player. What a player indeed. That was. 1 HP. I thought Liquid was going to get on the board. He got like a quarter of a second TP on, on top. that bottle. Is this going to be them getting on the board? Pull back under the tower. Small taking a bit of damage here, but he should be okay. The battery assault is going to prevent. Bobble from chasing. This is level 4 battery assault as well. I think he used the <laughs> He's hook level shot in. 7? Yeah, he got, oh a, yeah, he got a double goodness. kill. Under attack. Man, he hook shot it in there. Bulba gets the TP support, but like that Smolt doesn't care. He just goes back, heals up. His hook will be up again in 40 seconds. I like the bottle share change. Yeah, <laughs> you get to see plays like that. <laughs> Quakefa yeah. gets hit once by a searing <laughs> chain, already down to half HP. He can bottle back up, but. Another support rotation. He's in all sorts of trouble. Phase boots already on Ember Spirit. Oh man. Good luck. Good luck, Liquid, indeed. <laughs> Good luck, Bulba. What did Liquid do here? They're down five kills. They're, they've Dyer's lost most of their lane. Like, I don't really. Where's the comeback come from? Life stealer bombs? Yeah. I mean, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't even picked up his boots yet. He's got the money for it, but. Probably just wants to rush some phase boots and, like you say, get life stealer bombs coming. But 4k gold lead. Already. Yeah. I this would, game couldn't be going worse for Liquid. I would say Dog has a better late game too. Uh, Ember, Weaver versus Storm, Nyx. Uh, Nyx, I guess it's about even. Yeah. But they have to get there. Okay, Bul the plan is to get Bulba ganking. He's hit level 6 now, so it looks like he's heading towards the mid lane. But there's already a sentry ward waiting. As soon as, as, soon as Bulba hits 6, Misery's there, drops a sentry. This is just some great support play. If Bulba goes into this one, they'll see him coming. There's four heroes there, though. I don't know how much Misery yeah, can he do. He goes in. Central Ward should spot this out right away. MSS is already backing off. Pops a Searing Change in. I think he could have just Carapace and then killed him. That's, yeah, actually, it's a good point. It, what, Carapace just level one, so it's yeah, a point it's six. six. That's enough to hit yeah. a stun. Into an Impale, and then, and yeah, you get Quickvin. Quickvin's not level six, though, but. Yeah. They had four heroes there. I guess maybe they were scared of a couple other people, like a Clockwork Hookshot would just ruin their day. So. All right, well. Chilling Touch comes out at bottom lane. Just a bit of harassment. Already Midas and almost treads up on our Weaver. He's well on top of the CS. 47 CS. Next size is 31, but that's his teammate, the Ember Spirit. 28 for your Storm. This is just not going well. Ruh-roh. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's, it's so far from over this game. We're still sub 10 minutes, but it's a 4k gold lead. Five unanswered kills. Liquid are all underleveled. Storm is six. Woo! Misery comes in. He's going to hit a stun here. They can't really get this kill. He should see a zip to the high ground. Yep. Quickly gets out of there. He only just hit level six, and that's where maybe they thought they could get another kill out of that. Oh, there's the Invis on top. Oh, Fire Rim, they're going to land. He hits the Searing Chains. It's on cooldown. Actually, gets him with the Fire Rim there as well. There's a lot of damage on Quick, but He almost goes down. He will go down to the slider fist. MSS. What a freaking player. I know. What a beast. What a beast indeed. This guy. Just carrying single, well, no, not single handedly, the entire dog team playing out of their minds right now. Ember's so broken, though. Oh my goodness. After playing a couple times, he is just like. He's super strong as a solo mid. Yeah. Even when you're ass at him? Yes. I know, that's the thing. <laughs> Imagine if I weren't ass at him. Like, he's so good, even if I'm ass, so. Good players like MSS and Arteezy and Sing Sing and Dendi can just clean Ooh, up with bottom him. Bottom line. Bit of engagement coming in here. As well. Ruh -roh. So uh, I asked, I asked LD this other day, what's the over under on Liquid getting the first kill for this game? Yeah, well, I, it was it was for the EG Liquid yeah. game, and it happened at like fourteen or fifteen minutes, I think, for reference. I would. It, well, it was pretty much when the GG. Maybe it was sixteen. Yeah, and they GG'd immediately as they got the kill. I would set it around like eleven minutes. Eleven? Do you think they're gonna GG out as soon as it happens? No. Like a quick so. he might. No, die. There's, there's a lot at stake in this match. And it's a bit of a gold deficit, but they've got a lineup which can get a lot of kills in. Oh. What? What just happened? He just slid of he he slid of his bolus. He got down to like 100 HP. He bottled up. He tried to go home, and then he just took another slide of fist and died. Well, small at top lane now, like the solo pushing a tower. He's got 1800 gold suddenly. Things are just looking peachy for Team Dog. Win here, puts him in the playoffs for Liquid. They could still go to the playoff. If Osiris lose, then we have a Liquid, Osiris, and E-Hug three-way tie for fourth place. So even if you lose, there's still a very small chance to get in the playoffs. One of those three teams will advance. Um, I'm, I think it looks at it looks at head-to-head -head first, which I'm not sure how the head-to-head -head looks. I think Liquid beat 
they, wait, Liquid lost to E-Hug, didn't they? Liquid beat Osiris. But, okay. But they <laughs> lost to E-Hug. Radiant's bottom tower oh, was under sure. attack. I think they lost to E-Hug, but beat Osiris. So then we do have a three-way tie, and they may have to play some additional matches. But, oh boy. Yay. They have more opportunities to try and switch things up. They, they, <laughs> what, what, what is the ideal lineup for them, though? For Liquid? What is the ideal position? I I mean, I imagine Liquid know better than anyone. Maybe this is just like an experimental thing. Do, do they phase, know better but... than anyone? I oh. think they're like on super tilt right now. They can't grasp what's good and bad. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just I'm just a commentator. <laughs> what, a, what a Dota 2 coach. I have no I idea. I like to pretend I know, but <laughs> normally just pretending. Well, poor Liquid. They are they are lost. I feel for these guys. These are like I'm, these are friends of mine. Like I'm, I know Fluff. I know Bulba pretty well, and. Uh, I don't. I don't enjoy seeing them play poorly. That's for sure. But this is nobody just, does. Yeah, no, nobody does. This is just so far not been a pretty sight. With, with that said, a lot of small things have gone wrong. Like misery got the courier kill because he found a haste rune, and then from there it just snowballed out of control. Like there was just a lot of small things going against them, which if didn't happen, this game could be a lot closer. Fogged. Oh, uh, fogged. Eleven minutes is about right. Oh, Pike out the bottom lane. He's gonna go down here. Nice kill. There we go. Just after eleven minutes, man. Good call. They didn't have. Why, why did they not have any sentries? They, that was somewhat risky Radiant's if he just like Chikuchi to win. Oh, here comes the Manchester. He's got a haste rune. Gonna hit a searing change here. That's the death of TC by the looks of things. It's a counter searing chains off. Meanwhile, further down bottom lane, it looks like Fog was in a bit of trouble here. Storm Street going for the TP out. Is there gonna be a searing change in time? Not gonna hit it. Just too late. MSS, man. This guy's got 2k gold though. Radiant's top That's tower a scary is thought. under attack. Mm hmm. Well, Liquid are on the board. Yeah. This time, this time they're not tapping out as soon as they get their kill. We haven't even seen Smogalik. He's just happy to keep on farming at top lane. He's about to hit level 10. He's also about to get a T1 tower. Uh, it looks like he won't get the tower, but he'll get denied. Oh. Just, yeah. <laughs> well, well, almost almost lost that deny. Had to hit it denied. twice, but gets it in. And Smog hitting level 10, going to have max rocket player, max battery assault, and just he's going to be a beastly force in these fights. A ultimate going to go flying mid. Oh, oh quick buff. Just, oh, just it looked like it was in. Yeah, that was borderline. That graphic. Visual, oh, visual bug. It's like a 3D thing. I don't know. Cause, and it's like up in the air. The radius might be a little bit different on the bottom of the sphere. Who knows? AA plus clockwork's pretty annoying as well. You hit an A ulti on someone with rocket, max rocket player especially. Well, same with, I think with Ember Spirit too. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> slide of fist. Anyway. Ember Spirit picks up an ulti ult, so he's not even finishing his drums. He's going straight for a Lincoln Spear, I imagine. And that's really one of the things, like, Ember Spirit, you've got a free get out of jail, get out of jail free card, which you can use any time with Fire Remnant, unless you get instant disabled, but that's where a Lincoln Sphere pretty much prevents that. You can block a uh, Rubik Lift, you can block a Storm Spirit Pull, block an Orchid, it's, it's pretty much means you become nearly invincible, Boom, unless they can chain, chain disable you while breaking your Lincoln. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they have, like, Defensive Swap, they have Clockwork Initiate, I don't think you should be that scared of them. Yeah. Well, Clockwork, he's, uh, he's come to the party now. He's looking for a, a gank here from the side, and I don't think Liquid really want to, are able or want to try and defend these towers. Weiju's still going Midas, which... I thought he'd just go for, like, a phase... Like, phase armor, phase drums. Like, he just needs whatever items he can get. This will be a very late Midas. Radiant I don't know about getting a Midas mm, It's so, so. I think Dog needs to continue putting out pressure. Like, Smoglik is 2 and 0, but he can pick up a lot of these heroes before they pick up any sort of farm. Yeah. And no, I'm surprised that the the life steal is going back. Oh, oh, I know. But if Radiant's if they're not going to put pressure out with Small again, other heroes, okay. I think he can get away with Dyer's it. That was a dubious under smoke. attack. <laughs> there were three heroes all on top of a creep wave, and they smoked. <laughs> Maybe it was a <laughs> misclick. I don't know. Maybe he meant to TP. I don't. Yeah. It's a scare tactic. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna smoke, and you guys know we're smoked. So be scared, guys. Be scared. I mean, Quick was running directly towards his top lane. If he gets stunned, he can be burst down. Whoa, whoa. Need the VS to be the, the one in the front lines getting the stun off. There's not an infest bomb, it's just two heroes here. Ben? Oh, Quick for season. They were, uh, they were hunting the familiars. Nice. Smoke for the familiars. <laughs> Plus 100 Oh, G's. he got him! 200 Gs! Oh. oh, nice. The Vortex is coming to the That place. return on investment. And it's on cooldown? Yeah, it's on 90 seconds, no familiars. That's a pretty big pickup, but Liquid have rotated five towards top. They want to go for a fight here. Bulba's leading the front lines here with the Vendetta. Sentry gets dropped. Nicely played by Fog. Their awareness so fine. It's the Lifestealer and Fest Bombs coming into play. Quick for actually going to TP mid. He gives up on this. Decides they don't want to fight this. Too dangerous. Too many dog heroes around. 
They went to the wrong part of the dog neighborhood. Now they want to go on TC. MSS is hasted. Oh dear. Oh dear. TC gets caught in the steering chains. This will be an easy kill. Yeah, Weaver gets the last hit. Pycat's got himself most of the Lincolns as well. Why is, why is uh, Life Stealer still sitting inside Quickfa? Like, it, I think. I'm not I think sure, he just man. pops out. He just uses Midas right before he infested, so I guess that's nice. Yeah, it's on cooldown. They're smoked. They're looking for blood. Who? But Dogger just scooped his five at top yeah, or four. They've off. got one bottom misery. I guess he's going to be the pickoff. Well, Liquid can can one up their EG match and get two kills this game. What's the, what's the over under on Liquid's Radiant's number of kills this game? I just spent on how early yeah. they GG. Uh, yeah. Maybe like seven. No, long range dip, and this will be a second kill here. Misery going to go down. Nicely ganked by Liquid. This is how they get back in the game. Just find these pickoffs one by one, get ganked here and there, and. They're not even making dents in the gold grab. That's the no. that's the that's, difficult like, part. A pickoff on a support hero like that is just well, it was it was like how long was the infest for? His infest is twenty three seconds left, so he was in there for over a minute. Yeah. So I don't even think that's worth it for him. He them. could have just been farming neutrals and made as much gold, maybe more. And it's not like you're hurting. Like, kill a vengeful spirit. Attack. What's he farming? It's going to slow down his mech or his medallion. They're going to find some people. Smoglig. Fluff. Spot on with the hook shots. Smoglig going to find it. Fluff going to go down. No way out of this one. And MSS wants more. Not going to find any more here. It looks like. Uh, maybe get gets these familiars, but they're just kind of melee heroes. You can't. Can you slide a fist? Oh, you can. You can. Oh. Apparently, you can slide a fist familiar. I don't think it did the full. I don't think he got the bonus damage. Oh, you don't go. They're not heroes, obviously, so you don't get bonus hero damage. There are some weird things that count as heroes. It does fifty percent damage because it's a creep. So, I just think Sand Liquid two kills to ten. I don't want to do it, but I will. It's a ten k gold lead. Liquid Trail experience five k. Hmm. I don't know. Without Demon on Team Dog, I don't know if they're gonna throw this. <laughs> it's hard. It's <laughs> if only Demon was here. <laughs> That's what Liquid are thinking. Hey, Ultimate gonna go flying here. The Clockwork Rocket as well. Quake, we're gonna take a chunk of damage. No follow up initiation, but one more Rocket Flare and it could theoretically go down. That's up now. Not gonna get thrown. So Quake, we're gonna be okay. Actually, the ALT war off. He would have been fine. Yep. They got Lifesteal with it too. He's sitting around half HP. He has his infest up. He is going to pop inside Quake, but. Wait, he's like, hey guys, wait up for me. <laughs> wait up, Koifa. He's the phase boots. He's just going to get kited in these, these fights. That's why he just no. go, goes with Storm Spirit. Yeah. Hop like, in. I guess. <laughs> Start that cooldown run in. Do you think Infest cooldown should be when it starts, when you use it, or when you exit? I think when you use it. When you use it? Okay. I think otherwise it, the hero becomes a lot weaker. Yeah. Because the cooldown's already real. I don't think Infest is that. Like, it's a, obviously a really good skill, but I don't think it's like anything that like, makes the hero in by. He's gonna zip in top lane, but. Whoa, that was like the farm. No, they killed an illusion. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, Bo yeah, Bobo vented it in. Yeah, that's right. Clockwork has a scepter starting on Roshan. They have a medallion up on the Ventral oh Spirit. A lot of minus armor. The think... 2 4 0 build on Ven. Oh. That's an unusual build. I think usually it's 4 1 1. Or, I've seen. Uh, I can't remember who it was I was watching. Uh, I think it was just recently in the Dream League. I think they went for a. A Dyer's one for one. So they actually they got the one point, attack. the value point in the vengeance mm -hmm. aura. Value point in vengeance aura is good, but vengeance aura. I think wave of terror is more cost effective damage because it does. It's very spammable. It's low mana cost. Well, it's also if you die, wave of terror is far more effective. Yeah, I think wave of terror. It's got its AOE. It, I think in a lot of ways it, it scales better than magic missile. Oh, yeah. Like look at the, the stun duration of magic missile goes up by 0.1 Dyer's seconds every level. That's well, kind usually of usually you don't get any like. I don't know, some of them, like, on the supports especially, like, uh... Top lane. Uh -oh. Hook shot in from small. He's got uh, Aghanim Scepter, so if he keeps chasing, he can go for another hook, but he's not going to do so. Whatever. Small Gligs. Content what to form. Is. There's double Lincolns up soon. Weaver has his now. MSS is, I think, close to his. Does he have his recipe or anything? Oh, he's got his first appearance. They've got double Lincolns. They've got AA working on an Ag Scepter. They've got a completed... Medallion, they've got Clockwork with an Aghanim Scepter. They, uh, Dog just have a huge item advantage. Yep, Goldly sitting around 11,000. Who is the wielder of the Aegis? It is Bearer of the Aegis, rather. It is Weaver with treads. Yeah. A lot of money. You can just start playing aggressive here and jump some big plays. And so, who's actually getting farm on Liquid? Radiance uh, bottom tower Storm is has attack. two Robo the Magi. So he's like not terribly far off from his Orchid. He's caught up con well considering his start. Like he was zero three early on, he didn't really have much going for him. But now he's one three and one, getting 
like maybe halfway to his orchid. But can he actually complete it is the big question. And now we look at dog pressuring bottom lane. They have so much damage on dog though. Yeah. I just don't know how they're gonna Radiant's stay alive. Life Sealer probably will because attack. of rage, but even then they have a lot of minus armor to deal with him. They yeah, they can just right click him down, like Weaver yeah. Avenge. They can chase him down like when he pops a rage and tries to run. Like they'll just chase him Dyer's down using the Embers Tree if they really want to. Attack. So I don't think anyone's really that particularly safe. Icat gonna have his uh, Shikuchi stolen by TC, who comes in with a, a Fade Bolt Shikuchi, uh, Fade Bolt spell steal. Nice, nice. That's, that's the biggest win Liquid have had in the last like five minutes of this game. <laughs> they managed to steal Shikuchi. Yes. Yes. I don't think they have any detection on dog on them at the moment. No. Though, they can so. pick up a gem fairly soon. They may as well just yeah, to deal with the map. It's good for Nyx. Yeah. Yeah, Nyx as well. Like it's one of those things. Like even when you're not against Invis, gems can be very useful just for dewarding everything. Radiance I like what Quakebus doing. He's skipping the top T1 tower just to push this out. Doesn't he be careful? There's ATP in from the clockwork and. I don't think Liquid would be able to get this tower. TP comes in from Ember Spirit as well. This should be the end of this push here. Another TP coming in from a Weaver. Quakebus gonna go for a TP. Where's your hookshot? There it is. He goes down. Smogulik, on point with that. He thought he had the TP out during the steering chain, but little did he know Clockwork was nearby. Meanwhile, TC. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't just zip and TP. He might as well use him. Yeah. He's hunting, but I don't know if he can get this kill. AA's there as well. It's actually Shikuchi on TC. That's going to help get him out of the cold feet. Now we are going to see Misery take a fall. One kill down. Fog going to get his TP out. Yes, he does. Nicely played. Nicely well, played. They lose the storm though. That's not really a good trade for Liquid, but. It's better. Yeah. Than, it's better than no trade, I guess. Yeah, I think he could have gotten out though. Zip TP, maybe. Like the storm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he yeah. had plenty of mana, but I think he didn't realize Clockwork had TP to the tier two, and he thought it was just Ember Spirit who TP'd in. That's true, but like the risk reward is you risk losing all your mana and oh, not yeah. being in a. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, you're you're going back. You're going back to fountain anyway. Yeah. So why not? Oh use no no, I, I'm but, with you. Yeah. Eh. Gem has been picked up by Fog Dota on that AA, so. Vendetta ganks, not really too much of a possibility. Liquids, Shikuchi, Shikuchi Ing Rubik too, also in a fair amount of trouble. Yep. Well, they've got the gem now on the AA, so they can start the warning. They've got the detection they need. I think Dog's still playing well. Yeah, they're not like pressuring Liquid yeah. very hard, but they're also not overextending, not giving them too many free kills, not giving them important kills on Ember and Weaver. In particular yeah liquids really just kind of tightened up not they're trying to be careful not to let the the bleeding continue they're trying to just they're trying to just slow things down and just not give up more kills by sticking more as five playing a lot more cautiously and that's where dogs say okay you guys want to play cautiously we'll just look to out farm you get out wait wait till they have these big items up like even wait for Pycat's desolator sure they've got ages but they don't have to completely force the issue here if they don't want to yep there is an infest inside of bobo but does have his bling dagger so liquid's executing pretty good items yep. too uh, Fluff has is halfway to a scepter. He has the point booster as well as the ogre club. We see Nick Sesson with the blink. We see Life Stealer. He has half of his armlet. It's so hard for Liquid to split push because AA ultimate plus Clockwork Rocket Play just destroys a creep wave. And now suddenly that push top is over. They would have maybe gone for a tier one tower trade for this tier two mid, but doing that against AA Clockwork, they Radiant don't even have to TP to defend. Pycat uses his time lapse to mitigate some attack. tower damage. He's got his Aegis, so. I even, yeah, it's it expires. No big deal. Pretty shortly though. One yeah. minute. Having the time lapse on cooldown isn't going to bother him too much. They'll get this T two. Then I imagine we see him top uh, TP top to defend. They throw another uh, clockwork rocket player. Has fallen. Pike will keep farming. Dyer's I can scout out some of these heroes here. So. There's our first TP. They TP the Ember Spirit first. Who's the most durable? He cannot die at this tower. And it's a rage insta TP from Life Stealer. So Dyer's structures Liquid. Are fortified. They're not going to find anyone playing in mid lane. Liquid just oh, can't yeah. find a kill. Unfortunately. Hmm. They've also got no vision anymore because this AA gem has pretty much dewatered most of the map apart from this one board in here. And uh oh, Liquid, they've got a blink on Bulba. He's going to invis up. MSS invis himself quick, but maybe think about a kill here at the top lane. Misery going to come in as well. Boom, Where's that gem on the AA? It's further down. It looks like it's in the river here. So AA fog Dyer's He's nearby. He's going to see Bulba in a second. Attack. Oh, Bulba sees him there and realizes that this is not going to work. Yeah, these just get out. And Quickva actually going to pressure this lane. Quickva's not only is he kind of slowing down the push, he's also getting good farm. This is his Orchid Gold, more or less. And he's doing this in a fairly safe way. He sees all five heroes pushing this top way. They'll lose the Radiant's T2 tower, tower, but tower at this attack. point, this is best case scenario for Liquid. Like, they can't really defend towers regardless, so they'll just get some farm, get up the Orchid on Storm, and they're still farming okay to the Radiant's other lanes. Like, way too on his fallen. way to his, to his armlet. They've got Visage, Fluff at the bottom lane. Fluff's actually... I think he's almost going to accept this other lane. <laughs> 
Liquid are not giving up without a fight here. Yep. Smoke leg will catch out Fluff on bottom with the hook shot. Battery assault will cancel the TP, and that will be the death of Fluff. Oh, he had a thousand gold too. He got about one more piece. But now, two big items come out the armlet on the lifestealer, as well as the orchid on the storm. Side. And those are two items that work really well together, because these two heroes will be off this. TC gets blown up in mid. TC, please. Blown up. That's his only third death. Yes. Him and Fluff, and, or even Koifus had a bad game. Way too in Bulba, they've only got one kill between the two of them, so they've been uh, much more conservative with their play. Way too, of course, has the escape and he's a life stealer, but for Bulba, having no death is... Bulba's played well this game. Like, apart from apart from when they gave uh, Small the double kill at top lane. That was that was the one big mistake. But... Koifus. This is your interest bomb. Once you've gone Smogly here, there's a chain stun coming out here. Weaver comes in as well. Pika doing a lot of damage here. They're going to drop the storm immediately. TP up from way through the swap. Going to cancel it. Two heroes dead. They were just waiting oh for that, though. God. They had this ward out right by the Radiant T2 in mid, where it was supposed to be. They scouted him zipping over, and yeah. even the Infest. So they were 100% prepared. They can't actually kill the Clockwork either. Even with a, an Infest Incoming. plus Armlet plus Orchid, Clockwork's got four stuff. He just four stuffs away, wait for the Orchids to wear off, can use Cogs, Hookshot. Even if they get a better engagement there, I don't think they kill small. Yeah, not to mention 1660 HP. Yeah. Like, That's they could do maybe, like, 1 to 1.2k in damage, I'd say, but... Yeah, not enough. Well, well they were hoping for anybody else. Hookshot gonna find TC. He's in trouble. Caught in a Cog's battery assault. Actually gonna be small, taking a lot of damage here. The familiar's helping things out. He forced up the way. Okay, Liquid actually had the better, uh, the better hand of cards there, but... Still not gonna get a kill out of it. That's player here. Mm, here goes Bulba. He needs to be a bit careful here. They lose another familiar, it looks like, to Pycat. Pycat with a death letter. These familiars, I think you can do one, like, one gem, one uh, double hit kills them, I believe. Yeah. One Geminite with Desso. Yeah, definitely should. Until you get the level two familiars. So this at this point, familiars are just free food. Well, he Weaver. just casts familiars, too. Yeah. So now they're going to be down for two and a half minutes. MSS gets silenced at top lane. He's in a bit of trouble here, but... Another Fire Remnant up in a second, he pops a magic wand, he's just going to try to fight his way out of this one, gets hit by the Carapace, Fire Remnant out, Fire Remnant back in! What? He had a Fire Remnant to escape to. He decided to try and fight rather than escape, which was a bit of a mistake there. They lose the Storm Throw, though it looks like Liquid will lose two anyway. It might have just been a misclick, because even if you use it to the one to escape, you'll still pop the one right next to you. Yeah. So... Yeah, what? he went to the one, like, way up, I think it was at the top trees above the T1, where the T1 tower is, and then came back. So I think he wanted to escape to that one, but he accidentally ended up at the one by him. Or he just thought he could fight. <laughs> <laughs> man, I think he thought he could just man up and fight that one, but... Oh well, Roshan gonna respawn now. That was a pretty fast Roshan respawn for Team Dog. Yikes. Hey, you all coming out into support. How far is Fog? He does not have a scepter yet. He picked up the gem, which otherwise he would more or less have the scepter. Yep. Now, Dog can just wait for ages. It has respawned. Not sure if they're yeah. aware. It looks like Pycat will check right now. And there they go. That's a lot of minus armor. Minus 15 on Roshan. Jeez, that's, that's just these two these two heroes can just solo Roshan. Pops a time lapse to block a little bit of damage. And they'll be just fine here. As uh, AA comes in. As does the Ender Spirit. And there we go. Easy yeah, he's Roshan. very liberal with his time lapse. Yeah. Why not? I it's got a really short cooldown. So may as well. No mana cost. 40 second cooldown. Liquid gonna go smoke towards this one, but they're too late. Roshan's already down. Weaver picks it up. At this point, they don't want to go in, really. Maybe they try and snipe one. Oh, they have to catch him out, though. Bobble gets swapped in here. Pops a Carapace in time. They're going to lose Misery by the looks. He's not the best swap coming out. Now onto Fog Team. He's going to drop a gem if he goes down. It looks like he will take a fall. Two for one so far as Bulba did go down in exchange. Smogalig forced up onto the high ground. Catches that fluff in the cog. He'll lose himself. Meanwhile, Ember Spirit zip zapping all over the place. He looks more like a Storm Spirit than the Storm Spirit does. <laughs> and, well, three for two trade. Age is still up on the Weaver. That was like a good fight for Liquid. Like, they instantly killed the two supports, but after the two supports, Radiant's they can't kill anyone else. Yeah, Clockwork, but who, who do you think they should focus on Liquid? Or is I, that the right play? I think that's all they can do. Like, Weaver's yeah. got two lives. Maybe MSS focus, has the Lincolns. Maybe you try focus MSS. That's your only other option, I think, is to try break his Lincolns and focus Radiant. him first. But even that's what you could do. Regardless of, like, regardless of who you focus, Pycat's going to get at least a couple kills for his team, because he yes. just hits too hard. Yes, he does. He, heroes like Rubik Radiant Visage is just food for him. And now Raktus go down. Liquid. Uh, are under attack. Hey, all comes out. It will Radiant's hit just one hero off fountain. And it is Scepter now. Oh. Managed to complete it right Painful. before he died. 
Radiant's middle barracks. Smuggler going back in. <laughs> TC taking a bit of damage here. He's stolen cogs. That's not going to help him out too much. Actually, maybe it will prevent uh, Misery from chasing any further. MSS, not going to be able to find any kills here. He's got his first Battle Fury up. I say first. I don't think we'll see a second one this game. I don't think it's going to last long enough for a second one. Hey, you're pretty close, man. Liquid kills. You said seven. It's it's six. And GG, GG. is called. TC and the rest of Liquid tap Jeez, out. That that's, was... That's rough. Woof, woof. woof, woof Dyer, well, Dog was playing really well, though. Yeah, Dog... M MSS had a nice Ember. They had nice rotation from support. The supports especially had a had a really good game here. Um, MSS condolences to Bulba. Poor Bulba. Um, no, on a, a, the dog played really well, and a few small things going their way, like finding the early haste rune, getting the first blood. Otherwise, the game maybe doesn't go as smoothly for them. So um, mm -hmm. I don't think it was. I mean, the game looked really bad and ugly for Liquid, but I don't think they played. They played pretty badly, but I don't think they were like absolutely hard. They need to focus on not conceding too many things in the first five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As uh, we will be getting ourselves into our next match of today, guys. Game number two is going to be Osiris versus Ehug. Uh, then we go into EG versus Revenge, the battle for first place. So two more matches coming your way. Osiris versus Ehug scheduled to start in 10 minutes' time. But right now, Liquid, well, they're possibly not going to be going on to the playoffs. Which is I didn't see bad. that coming. Yeah. I thought they were kind of chewing, but the no. way things have been going, I yeah. do not think they're actually in the top four. Like even the way they're playing, even yeah. like aside from standings, do you think they're top four NA? Um, oh, I think they're top four NA. Well, like mm. maybe. EG is EG, I think definitely better than hands down number one. Um, I'd say Revenge the way they're playing is better than Liquid. Yes. Um, so that's two. Dog, I think. May I say Dog and Liquid are kind of close. Mm -hmm. Like this was definitely like a bad Liquid game and a really good Dog game. Like Dog yes. are not a very consistent team. Like they've played. This is the best game I've seen them play in a long while. So I'd say, I mean, that's kind of like your top four there, wouldn't you say? Like, who's going to make it in the top? I don't think Osiris or Ehug is better than Liquid. Mm -hmm. Even if one of them gets into the playoffs over Liquid, I don't think they're better this than is Liquid. This is true. It's just like they managed to get a good result in a best of one. But I agree yeah. with that. Okay. That's good. The Liquid top four, I know. I don't know if that's something to be proud of. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, Liquid, unfortunately, not going through the best period of their Dota 2, but this is a team... Uh, they need to get their stuff together fast if they want to make it a TI. Yeah. If they... If they do get their stuff together, though, they they have they have team. the talent. Yeah, and they've been at TI before, so like you put these guys on the main stage at TI, you can expect big things. Like they've mm -hmm. that everyone remembers the match against LGD China where they managed to cause that big upset and had the whole crowd behind them. So they have what it takes. It's just a matter of finding it within themselves. Getting they need meditation. Yeah, that's what I feel. Take yeah, take a two day like spa retreat off into the, like somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like <laughs> together? In Arizona together. Yeah. Have some meditation, some deep tissue massages, mud baths. That's what I would do if I was the, the liquid coach. If you were a captain, mud, mud baths. That's the solution. <laughs> have you ever had, have, had a mud bath? No. I, really I always want to. I think of mud golems when you say that. <laughs> stupid little things. Stupid little buggers. The dirt faces. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. Liquid. Uh, well, not liquid. We're going to have uh, another important match. Osiris versus Ehug to decide another playoff spot, potentially. Mm -hmm. So if Cyrus win there into the playoffs, if they lose, they still might be in the playoffs. I don't really know what happens. Check Starlighter.tv for your information there, guys. We'll be back shortly with uh, our second match of Starlighter America. Stay tuned. 